Good morning, I'm in Sofia, Bulgaria, and today I'm going to be traveling a little bit north to another city, Veliko, uh, what is it, Veliko Tarnovo, if I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's supposed to be about a two hour bus ride, gonna hop on a little tram, go to the bus station, and uh, grab a bus ticket, and head out. I'm told this is a really beautiful part of Bulgaria to go see with a nice old city, a fortress, and I'm really looking forward to checking it out. I it onto my tram. It's about four stops. Uh, get off the bus station, buy my bus ticket. <laughs> The big glass building back over here is the railway station and then off to the right hand side as I was entering is a smaller building. This is the bus station so this is where I need to get my ticket. Just asked for some help and they told me I'm in the wrong bus station. That there is two bus stations. So there are two bus stations here right next to each other. The one I was just at and they sent me over to this other bus station. You have a bunch of little bus companies and you have to figure out which window to actually buy your ticket at, so that's the next step. So I've been directed towards Biomet, this little booth here, and the lady is gone. I'm told to wait about five minutes and she'll be back. I have my ticket. Uh, it was Apparently I missed the 11 o'clock bus, just barely, it's 11 o'clock right now. I have to wait two hours for the 1 o'clock bus. The cost was 22 lev, which is about um, $12. It's a little bit expensive for a two-hour bus ride, but it is what it is. My bus just arrived, so the bus drivers are inside, I guess probably stretching their legs, checking in with the office. So it's about 20 minutes or so we should be departing here. Uh, from Sofia and headed up to the city. I guess about a two hour bus ride. Cross my fingers, hope that that's correct. And uh, should be a nice ride. Packs on board, have my ticket. Just have to wait for him to open the door. And I'll be able to get on, hopefully get a good seat with some leg room. Have some nice leg room today. It's a really nice bus too. in Veliko Tarnovo and I just departed just left from the bus station walking up a street hoping that I'm headed in the right direction I asked some locals uh, to show me on the map where I am so I believe I'm headed in the right direction should be a tourist information place up ahead three or four blocks so I'll have to check there and make sure I'm on course. Of course, I could take a taxi, but the advice in the little brochure here is avoid the taxis that they're a major scam here from the uh, train station and bus station. So they said definitely do not take a taxi. 
So just some advice that I received. Making some slow progress. I found the local public bus stop. So I just have to find bus 20, 50, or 110 and take that for four stops and it should bring me really close to the hostel. And I'm on the local bus. The lady here has confirmed that I'm going the right direction. Should be just four stops and get off and a couple minute walk to my hostel. Should be good. Oh, and by the way, it is really, really, really cold here. My fingers are frozen, my ears are frozen. It's, it's winter. just departed I almost missed my stop the lady was talking on the phone and she was not watching uh, because she had told me she would let me off or tell me where to get off and so they had to stop the bus like you know, I don't know it went for another 30 seconds before they stopped again they let me off so anyway um, should be just a short walk I'll find my hostel really shortly I think I always feel a little bit of pride and sense of accomplishment a little bit of joy when I'm able to follow a map instead of using digital media, smartphones, things like that, and using public transportation instead of a taxi. Uh, Hostel Mostel is just ahead. Yes, there's two locations for Hostel Mostel. I stayed in one in Sofia and stay in one here in this city. And should be pretty good. I understand this is the newest location. I'm checked into my hostel and Choi here, I just met in the hostel, she's in the same room as me. She's from Busan in South Korea, not from North Korea, South <laughs> Korea. And we are going to go find some traditional Bulgarian food. What is the name of the restaurant? Uh, it's we, hard. Shit. We don't know. Don't know. It's <laughs> diffi difficult to pronounce, but we have it on Google Maps. She has a smartphone. So she is the guide, the leader, and she did the research. So if the food's not good, it's her fault. Okay, anything you want to say before we go? Uh, it's cold, but we will go to nice dinner. Yeah, it's cold. So hopefully they have heat and we have hot food. Okay, let's go. I'm standing down here and she's standing up here because there's a height difference, but now now we're the same. the same. <laughs> okay, we just arrived at the restaurant. She navigated perfectly because she's brilliant. Thank you. And we're going to go inside and see if she's right that this is the best food in the city. So we're oh. going to go in and check it out. Yeah, <laughs> let's check it out. Okay. And we're getting the exact same thing. We're getting a meat dish with uh, some sort of kebab with meatballs and sausages, potatoes, and some green vegetables. We're sitting out here on the little terrace area, and it's right on the edge of the hill, looking out into the city below. It really has a beautiful view right here at sunset. Um, it's a little overcast, otherwise this might be like a nice romantic place to hang out. But we do have candlelight. Ooh, very nice. Yes, we're going to do the traditional Asian peace sign. <laughs> So we are, dinner has arrived. It's like a little patty here, some sausages, some potatoes, pepper, and some green, some greens. Okay, awesome food. I think uh, everything was great. She even got a dessert. What yeah. was your dessert? Like a cake? Yeah, like a cake. Yeah, Those the cake was cake. good. <laughs> and you had uh, lemonade? Yeah. Okay, and I had a beer and it, everything was just really really good so I think thumbs up for this restaurant would you say thumbs up thumbs up okay positive reviews that's all I have for this episode please remember savor the moment be happy and pursue your passions I'll see you next episode
I was going to mention what I do with an hour and a half waiting at a bus station. I got my laptop out, I did video editing. Actually, I'm getting a little bit better, a little bit faster at the editing. I was able to edit an entire video in about an hour and a half.